Listen carefully. Malachi chapter 3 verse 10 was not written to Christians. Stop punishing yourselves. That chapter is not for you Christians. God was rebuking the priests that collected tithe from Christians. That they collected tithe from you, but they themselves, they are not paying their own tithe. They are the ones Malachi 3.10 is written to, to pastors who eat tithe but don't pay tithe. And that was all under the law. Malachi 3 is not for Christians. It's for pastors themselves who are eating the tithe. But they themselves are not paying their own tithe. They are the ones Malachi 3.10 is written to. Read it from chapter 1 carefully. You will see that that scripture is not for Christians. It's for priests, pastors who collect tithe. Because under the law, pastors who collect tithe are supposed to pay tithe of tithe. But many of them eat the tithe and they don't pay anybody their tithe. So Malachi was rebuking them and he says, because they are defrauding, they, 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 they are defrauding God, they are cursed with a curse. Malachi said that to the pastors, not to the congregants. Go and read very carefully. Moreover, Jesus ended the Titan era and opened up the era of generosity. Today we give willingly. We don't give in percentage. We just give generously to support the work of God. In fact, in the New Testament, we give and give and give until the need is met i hope that's clear well the truth must be said um pastor ebed amina um can only say what he says right and uh, this is another very deep uh, exposition of his thoughts and opinions of the word of god and the christian faith generally quite quite a lot of them right i've shared a few a couple of you keep shouting why do I, do I keep posting per se bed I mean, or people that have contradictory uh, opinion about certain doctrinal practices of the Christian faith? I must say the truth. I hate extremism. I hate extremism. And of course, I also think God um, does so. And that's why even in the Bible, God allowed that people with diverse opinion, diverse understanding, diverse powers um, to be to be penned down in the Bible. If, if the Holy Spirit inspired people to write in the bible they should have removed anything that was anti-christ or anti-god but they see allowed it so why should i not and i've also personally understood that when you allow people to have more and more opinions of you they can make informed decisions and whatever they decide to do at that time it's difficult for you to pull them away from me other than one extreme thought pushed to the rear and every other thing no no no, no can't do that in this platform will allow all thoughts to come in right as long as it's within the confines of legality morality and um, of course um, uh, culturalization so to speak then if you now decide to do whatever you want to do you can go so listen to dr ebed amina talking about titan talking about first food and all of that you can make your opinion and let me know in the comment section i'll also be there trying to also um, learn and maybe put out my thoughts so to speak i'll catch you some other time bye for now Listen carefully. Malachi chapter 3 verse 10 was not written to Christians. Stop punishing yourselves. That chapter is not for you Christians. God was rebuking the priest that collected tithe from Christians. That they collected tithe from you, but they themselves, they are not paying their own tithe. They are the ones Malachi 3.10 is written to, to pastors who eat tithe but don't pay tithe. And that was all under the law. Malachi 3 is not for Christians. It's for pastors themselves who are eating the tithe. But they themselves are not paying their own tithe. They are the ones Malachi 3.10 is written to. Read it from chapter 1 carefully. You will see that that scripture is not for Christians. It's for priests, pastors who collect tithe. Because under the law, pastors who collect tithe are supposed to pay tithe of tithe. But many of them eat the tithe and they don't pay anybody their tithe. So Malachi was rebuking them and he says, because they are defrauding, they, 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 they are defrauding God, they are cursed with a curse. Malachi said that to the pastors, not to the congregants. Go and read very carefully. Moreover, Jesus ended the Titan era and opened up the era of generosity. Today we give willingly. We don't give him percentage. We just give generously to support the work of God. In fact, in the New Testament, we give and give and give until the need is met i hope that's clear that's what first fruit because january is coming they are warming up to collect your january salary (laughs) 
they are warming up to collect your general salary. Not your own. Your own. As long as I live in this church, nobody will collect your general salary. Because January salary is not first fruit. There is no January in the spirit. There is nothing special about January. God is not aware that January has come. So why are they collecting your salary in January? We do not observe these. We do not observe moons. Why your January salary? Wait first, I'm coming. Moreover, the first fruit is not money. The first fruit is Jesus. Jesus is the first fruit. He's the first fruit. First fruit means the first harvest. He's the first begotten. The first harvest from the dead. And we are the rest of the harvest. It was used as money in the Old Testament, symbolic of what Christ would do in the New Testament, because Jesus is the ultimate offering. 